All right, greetings friends. What we're looking at right now is an orange tree that I planted about three months ago or so, I guess. It's doing great. Look at this beautiful new growth coming out of the bottom. Yeah, it's doing great, man. It's looking really healthy. This is not random though, and this is not a gardening channel. I'm showing this because it's a, uh, it's new life, it's new growth. <clears throat> and you know, the last video that I made, uh, I made it after, I was going through kind of a, a rough, not kind of, I was going through a very, very rough uh, situation. Also, let me quickly say um, to those people that responded to that video before I took it down, I, you have my eternal appreciation and gratitude and, uh, I really mean that as far as I'm as far as I'm concerned you've got a friend in me man like uh I appreciate that and I may put that video back up I put that video up because I thought it could do people some good but I was not comfortable with putting that about myself out there like that so I pulled it down but I might put it back up because I do think it could legitimately do some people some good <clears throat> but um I, I am really hyper conscious of this not becoming a like a vlog type thing where it's me babbling about myself and so that's the same situation with this video as i'm talking you want to go let's go check out my grapes got some grapes that i planted as well i'm gonna have them use this fence to climb up and grow on but anyway what is my point my point is got some watermelons over there <clears throat> my point when i am uh here to discuss is going to be very quick and this is also oriented towards the idea that it could help some of you and what that is here's the watermelons so you know when i went through that uh that period that very oh they're growing really nice when i went through that uh period uh, a couple days ago a few days ago it was not pleasant but here's the thing instead of hiding from it i really embraced it i um I did not try to pretend it wasn't happening. I did not try to drink it away or pretend it didn't exist. I acknowledged what was happening and I looked at the things in my life and I tried to figure out what is going on? What is happening right now? Why am I in this place? And I realized that essentially it came down to that I, I am ready to move into a new phase of my life, a new phase of my goals, um, partially, which partially includes this channel. <clears throat> and uh, but at the same time I had been holding on to old goals and the reason I was holding on to them was because they were goals that I once treasured and I had achieved them uh, and I didn't want to let those things go because I had worked so hard to achieve them but you know what the fact is we're gonna walk back in the woods and see what's up back here the fact of the matter is that you know there's a tea to everything there is a season right like you you set goals and you achieve them, and I believe that's a core piece of what life is all about. But that doesn't mean you have to live there. You don't have to achieve the goal and then cling on to it for the rest of your life. You know, you achieve your goals, you set new goals. You got to let go. You got to let go of old things. And, um, kind of neat woods back here. <clears throat> and, um, yes. And so that is what I am doing. And you know what? That, that little brief dark night of the soul, that tough period that I went through, it has turned out to be incredibly rejuvenating and reinvigorating, and it was necessary. And um, it, in hindsight, it was a great thing because it was, I think most people today would wanna to say it was my subconscious or my mind. With my beliefs, I, may, I believe that it may have been some kind of external forces tapping me on the shoulder and giving me a wake up call. But um, the point of the matter is, you gotta let some old things go. You gotta cut them away sometimes, not always, but sometimes you gotta know when to cut the old away to make way for the new. You know, you gotta, you gotta burn away, burn away the old forest cover in order to let new trees grow, which was something that I discussed in a different context. And, uh, a week or two ago in another video so my point is i am uh i'm feeling good and optimistic and happy and i over the weekend i initiated some processes to cut away some of those things that i realized i had to let go some um some clients that i was holding on to because i had worked really hard to win those clients but i've decided that you know what those clients just 
they're now just getting in my way. They're using up my limited time. And I will always appreciate the fact that I had those clients and that I achieved those goals. But now it's time to move on, man. New, uh, new horizons, new goals to new goals to accomplish and most importantly new worlds to create and that is what i'm going to be focused on and a lot of that is going to be manifesting in this channel which is going to be increasing in quality significantly as i now have more time to invest in it <clears throat> and so yeah that's all i just wanted to remind everybody that sometimes when those times come and it's beating you down and tearing you up um it may it may actually just be some part of your mind or some other force some angel on your shoulder saying hey dude hey lady uh it's time to it's time to let the old stuff go and to start moving towards your new goals you did what needed to be done it's not always goals that's what it was for me i mean maybe for you it's it'll be something with relationships or whatever it is just the point is it's time to to burn to raise the old to the ground and make way for the new and um, I think that's often what those things are telling you if you choose to embrace it. Oh, I love the sound of faraway train whistles. But anyway, um, yeah, so it's totally up to you, man. But that, that's where I am. And I just wanted to give you all a reminder in case you enter that point of your life. And uh, sometimes in my life, sometimes randomly popping into somebody talking about something like this in their own life has helped me and been like, you know, clicked with me and been like, hey, that's where I am right now. So I'm throwing this out there in case that happens, in case it can help anybody. So that's about it. Again, everybody who responded to that last video, which I think I probably will end up putting back up because I do think it could do somebody some good. Um, so I, I thank you all so much uh, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for extending your well wishes. You are appreciated. All right. Thank you very much, my friends. Peace out.